Nurse is bottlenecking the strength of perks for killer. Let's talk about it. Bottlenecking is where one problem it limits the strength of all perks because one instance would be far too broken or strong. In this case, the nurse and aura reading perks. In the most recent developer update released today, August 23rd, something that I predicted would be addressed before coming to live servers was changed. Now, what is that? It's a perk called Awakened Awareness. A perk which on its own would seem extremely underwhelming. However, like most people, when I saw this, I instantly thought of one thing. This perk with Starstruck on Nurse is going to be, well, I'll let you see for yourself. What I said in the intro should just be the most insane speedrun build ever. Like, Lethal Pursuer, I see everyone around me, like, this has got to be insane. Like, this person's just dead. What are you going to do? <laughs> This is insane! As well as this, in the video, I used Lethal Pursuer to really guarantee that free hit with the extra two seconds of aura reading. And what was Behavior's response to that? Well, let's take a look. This perk grants the killer aura reading while they're carrying a survivor. On the PTB, this effect also lingered for two seconds after the carried survivor is dropped, hooked, or wiggled free. This effect could be a little oppressive on certain killers. Now, certain killers is an interesting one because off the top of my head, I can't really think of any other killer that benefited from this other than Nurse. I think you could make an argument for Spirit, but still, the power of this perk combination was and is absolutely best shown by the strongest killer in the game, the Nurse. Especially when paired with Lethal Pursuer to extend the aura reading effect and Starstruck to make survivors exposed. Again, this makes total sense. It basically just extended the two second linger effect of Awakened Awareness another two seconds and essentially guaranteed that free hit with Nurse after carrying the survivor. It gave you a four second window to get that free hit and obviously paired with Starstruck, a free down to a survivor that doesn't even know that you can see their aura. For the release, we've removed the lingering aura reading from Awakened Awareness. As a result, Lethal Pursuer will no longer extend the duration of Awakened Awareness's aura reading. Now that was the entire changes we've been told in the developer update, and to be honest, it very clearly shows a big, big problem for behavior that needs to be addressed. For one, we have blink attacks not being special attacks. If you don't know what this means, this basically allows perks like Noed, Devour Hope, and Starstruck to all work on Nurse when she's using her power. To show you the other side, let's look at Blight. When Blight uses a rush, none of the perks actually proc and put the survivor into the dying state, as these perks don't work with special attacks. And when the Blight is rushing, they're deemed as special attacks. But when the Nurse is blinking, they're deemed as basic attacks. My personal solution to this would be one that I read on Twitter being that the first blink would be a basic attack and any more blinks used after that, second and third, would be deemed as a special attack. This would basically allow the perks to still be usable on Nurse, but hopefully not as oppressive as they are now. We do have to remember that Nurse is a very special case. She's actually slower than the survivors and the only killer to be slower than survivors in Dead by Daylight. So she should essentially never get a hit without using her power. So if you make all blink attacks special attacks, all these perks become completely useless on Nurse. Whether you see that as a bad or a good thing, well, I'll leave that up to you. Now let's address the aura reading issue with Nurse. Aura reading perks at this current state of Dead by Daylight will essentially always be a free hit to any nurse that understands the muscle memory of her blinks, aka how long do I hold down M2, left trigger, L2, for how long I travel. And I know Oddstarva has talked about this in the past. Uh, depending how you look at her, Nurse is either almost just completely fine and three stars just some changes, or completely uh, messing this entire game. In my opinion, Nurse is one of the biggest problems that by Daylight has, in some ways. She alone, by herself, gatekeeps and bottlenecks many of the developer's decisions. Now, think about a perk like Amalier's that shows you the auto of a survivor for 6 seconds. What if that perk, instead of 6 seconds, was 12 seconds? Would that be OP on Trapper? No. Would that be OP on Hag? No. Would that be OP on Clown? Absolutely not. Would that be OP on Nurse? Probably. Similar to um, Starstruck. Starstruck is a perk that works on maybe one or two killers. Almost every other killer, Starstruck is not a big threat on. Starstruck on Nurse is stupidly ridiculous. But many, many of the perks that involve auto reading and lethality would be broken uh, on this killer. For that reason, many it, it upsets me to know that many of the perks uh, that would be um, that could be really, really balanced for the rest of the cast will never get a, a, a proper buff because they would be busted on this killer. So I raise you a potential solution. What if when the nurse started charging her blink, all auras from perks disappeared? 
almost like a temporary blindness effect. So you get all the information before you start using your power, but as soon as you start charging your power, those auras disappear, allowing counterplay from the survivors and taking the aspect away of it just being a free hit. Changing the way aura reading perks work on Nurse would essentially relieve the bottlenecking of aura reading perks that she currently holds over the entire Dead by Daylight killer perk pool, and then would allow perks like Awakened Awareness to exist in the game, and maybe even result in perks like I'm All Ears being buffed to have a longer duration of aura reading. So what does all this mean? All the killers in the pool for Dead by Daylight are essentially being punished due to one killer being overly oppressive with these perks. And in this case, it's the nurse. Now let's be totally clear, I don't think this is the change behavior should make, and I'm definitely not saying that I'm 100% correct. It's just something I thought about when I read the changes today. I think it's pretty sad to see Awakened Awareness, a very weak perk on 99% of the killer pool as it was, nerfed and gutted even more purely because of the power of one killer. But that's just my opinion and it's the way I see it. I wanted to release this as an update video because in the PTB, I did use the Awakened Awareness, Lethal Pursuer and Starshot combo, and I felt the need to follow up that video. I'll also flash that video up on screen now if you want to see the reason for these nerfs before they even got into the live game. But basically, Behavior didn't want the specific situation that was showcased in that video to be in the game, and I think that's completely understandable. Now, I didn't go into the PTB and just play a ridiculously strong nurse build against random people, just trying to have fun and play against the new killer. The four survivors in the game all knew what they were up against, and all had thousands of hours in the game, which I think showcases the power of this build even more, as I 4K'd on three gens on Nurse's worst map, RPD, against survivors who all knew what they were doing, to say the very least. But to end it off, I would love to know your guys' opinions in the comments. What do you think of this nerf coming to the game? And what would you do if you were in Behaviour's position to address this?